one of the things we see in jury selection in these cases is how widespread child sex abuse is in our society. It has been swept under the rug. It has been hidden from public view institutionally and in all the uh, shameful ways that child abuse occurs, particularly child sexual abuse, for many, many decades, centuries. In jury selection, we see often as many as 20 to 25 percent of the prospective jurors either were abused as children or someone very close to them was abused as a child. It is a problem because of the secrecy that surrounds it. One of the exhibits at the trial was the Awake Magazine article that talked about how secrecy is the friend of the perpetrator. Secrecy gives rise to more victims. That's what the essence of the policy of the governing body was through the 1989 Body of Elders letter. It's secrecy about child sexual abusers. That's what has to change, not just in Jehovah's Witnesses, not just in religious institutions, but in every institution in the country. And each and every institution, whether it be a Penn State, whether it be a religious institution, whether it be a U.S. Swimming, Boy Scouts, all of these institutions where our children are active and participate and where families believe that the people with them are good people who can be trusted, all these institutions need to double, triple, quadruple their efforts to protect the kids. There is nothing more important than the protection of our children. There's nothing more important institutionally than making those who have the power in our large institutions, the power to shape and control people's lives, responsible when they fail, and to make sure that where those failures have been documented and pointed out as Candace Conti did to Jehovah's Witnesses in this case, that changes are made. This case is partly about a victim from our past, Candace Conti, but it's also about making sure we protect kids in the future so that there are no more Candace Contis. There are no more hidden molesters in the congregation and kids can be safe, grow up to have healthy lives without the scars of child abuse. Everything that Rick just said and more. I, I think that through this case, I can only hope that people see the policies and procedures of these organizations are flawed and that we can take the initiative as members of these organizations uh, to ask our elders to ask our superiors that we as a unit want better protection for our children that is always been the goal um, behind behind this and i just hope and pray that we make a difference every day for children of the